Alright, so the first thing you want to do, you come over to your computer, make sure it's plugged into the USB. So we're going to do that right now. Slide it right on the side of your computer or your laptop or whatever you're plugging it in. And what we're going to do first, when we plug this up, we're going to turn off the phone. But we got to allow, allow access, so we're going to do that. We really don't have to at this point. Let me show you. So we're going to turn the phone off, which on this phone, now you have to hold these two to get the power menu. Because if you hold the power button on this phone, a stupid Bixby menu will pop up. So we're going to go to power off phone. And then we're going to hold this. Well, we got we to gotta turn it back on. So we're going to hold both of the volume keys and hold the power button. And there you go. Now you should see a screen like this to say, Warning, a custom OS can cause critical problems in the phone and install applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume key up. Otherwise, press the volume key down, which I'm going to press the volume key up because... I want to put another OS on here. I'm not putting a custom OS, but I'm putting another operating system on here. So you're going to push up and then you should see a page like this. And don't get scared. I know it look a little scary, but it that's that's normal. So now you can just set the phone right here. What you're going to do is you're going to come to your computer as you all going to download a program called Odin is version three. Point fourteen point one. This is the three B patch version. Uh, I don't know if any other version will work. I'm gonna try to link, uh, put a link in the description where to get this. But you're gonna get this, um, and you can just ignore all this. And after we press OK, we gonna get this screen right here. So what you gonna do is? You can go to soundmobile.com to find these firmware updates and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all know what to do. So you go go here, and when you get the firmware, let me see it's on my desktop somewhere right here. When you get the firmware, it's gonna come like this: user data home csc this this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here. We gonna go to options. Nah, don't touch none of this. Leave this alone. Because if y'all break y'all phone, don't come in the comments saying, "Hey, I broke my phone because uh, blah 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 blah." No, it was because y'all didn't follow directions. Once again, the options gonna stay like this. And this, you only doing this if you got an unlocked phone and you got like example for me I got Metro by T-Mobile so what I have to do is I have to install the T-Mobile firmware on the unlocked phone because with the unlocked version I'm missing a lot of features so with the T-Mobile firmware I get all those features such as RCS uh, video calling and etc so we gonna go to we gonna click here where it say BL at and once the open screen come, wherever you downloaded your Samsung firmware, which in my case I downloaded on the desktop and I put it in this folder right here. And um, you're going to come here. So you clicked on BL. So just select this BL file and go to open. It's going to go like this. You're going to go to AP. And you're going to select the same thing. Now when you pick the AP, this is going to take a little longer. So don't get scared if you don't see nothing right here. But this is part of the process. So you have to wait. You see this little thing. So your computer is not frozen or nothing. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. But you're going to click this right here. And yeah, I'm going to wait for a second because this is a pretty big file. This is about 5 gigs worth of update. So... Just give it a second. It should just keep doing this. This is real time waiting too. No editing.
So. Boom! Got it. All right. So. Got that one. Then you go go to here to CP. You're gonna select CP. Go to open. And then you got the country sales code, which is CSC. You're gonna click here. Nah, don't click on the home CSC. The home is if you keeping your user data. In this case, we're not keeping none of the data because technically it's a brand new phone. So we don't need to keep any data. So all we're gonna do is select this one right here. There we go. And the user data, don't touch the user data because the user data, in this case, is where all the T-Mobile uh, boatware is, if you decide you want it for some odd reason. But uh, we're going to leave that like that. And after that, we're going to go to start. Make sure these options and none of this shit over here clicked. All right. If y'all mess up y'all phone... It's not on me. I'm going to say that again. Because as in real time right now, as I'm recording this, I done did it to my other Galaxy. I shouldn't have no problem doing it with this one. And you got to find the right firmware. So if you're going to find the firmware for this phone, make sure it's the T-Mobile firmware. Not the one with the U1. It has to have the U on it. If that makes sense, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to start. Now on this part, even though I started, it looked like it's frozen, but it's not. And it's going to do this. Normally, if I was to put the other firmware on there, which the firmware that goes on the unlocked version, it wouldn't take this long at first. So you just have to wait and be patient just for a second, and then you're going to start seeing some results. So give me a second. Real time. Oh, there we go. So you should start seeing something do all that. Do not, under no circumstances, unplug your phone while this is happening. You will destroy it. Like, seriously. So you just going to sit that there and make sure y'all use the phone, the charger that came with the phone. In this case, since I have a USB type A, I'm using my Galaxy Note 9 charger. So I use that and it's working just fine. It's a little long process, y'all. So what I'm going to do is once this is done, I'm going to come back and let y'all know how I went. All right. So right here, we at the end of the process and the phone going to reset by itself. And it's going to turn on like this. Just give it a second. And the first boot is going to take about... Mm, Probably about three minutes to fully boot up because it got to get used to everything and stuff like that. So now don't get scared. You're going to see this screen right here. That don't mean nothing. So what you're going to do is right here where it say reboot, you just go to reboot and you're going to press the power button right here to do that. So once it reboot, it's going to boot up to the... Uh, it should have T-Mobile firmware on here now. There we go. So, now we're running the T-Mobile firmware on the Unlock Note 20 Ultra 5G. And it's going to take a little while to um, optimize all the apps. And, um... Everything is booting up just perfectly the way it's supposed to be. Now, if you get to a part and you didn't see none of this, then obviously you did something wrong. So, we just going to wait right here. And I'm going to skip this process because once this is all the way booted up, I'm going to let y'all know how it came out. Alright, so um, it's, it's finished optimizing all the apps and stuff. At this point... You can pretty much unplug it. 
and let's go out right here and voila uh that's the stupid bips bixby stuff we ain't trying to go to that so let's get out of that there it is this is uh this has the t-mobile firmware on here now hold on i'm gonna go to the about so y'all can see go to settings let's uh cover up some of that stuff software information there we go so you see right there where i say tmb that's showing that it's running the t-mobile firmware just like that so yeah that was all we had to do and now you can use the rcs you can use your video capabilities on your phone and pretty much a lot of other cool features so that was it for that